guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing this yellow um, eyeshadow look. Super yellow. It's perfect for the summertime. This is the first time I actually do yellow on my eyes and I loved it. It's like so nice and it complements my eyes so well. I really like how this came out and I did um, glitter as well. So yeah, if you guys want to learn how I create this look, don't forget to keep on watching. Before we get into the video, I will be linking down below my social media for those of you that would like to follow me. It will be in the description box. So, yeah. Let's get on to the video, guys. So I'm going to do what I did on this eye. And I'm going to repeat it on this eye. Um, so first, I'm taking M511 Morphe brush. And I'm going to dip into these two colors right here. So it would be these two colors right here. And I'm just going to put that all over my crease. So I'm going to do windshield wiper motions and then circular motions. And I'm just going to keep working those colors in. Then I'm going to take this little small brush and I'm going to take the same colors and I'm just going to try to build up the color on my crease. And then I'm going to go back to the fluffy brush and I'm just going to keep working that. I'm going to drag it out here as well. Once you have built the intensity that you want, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild brush. It's like a flat, fluffy brush. Um, and I'm going to dip into this color. Actually, I'm going to dip into this one and then some of this one. So the two brightest yellows. I'm going to put that all over my lid. And I'm just going to build the intensity of those two colors. Make it as bright as possible. Now, I'm going to take the Morphe M441. And I'm going to dip into this orange shade right here. This one. And I'm going to go ahead and take that color on my crease, just so I can build some of that definition. I'm just taking a little bit. Um, I want it to mostly be yellow. So using this orange is going to make it look like a darker yellow instead of an orange. And I'm going to take the fluffy brush with some of that yellow. And I'm just going to go over that. Now I'm going to go ahead and wing out my liner, and for that I'm going to use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And I'm just going to create a wing and hopefully it turns out the same as this one. enough. Now I'm going to put some of the glitter that I put on this one and for that I'm going to use the Urban Decay Heavy Metal. Yeah, Heavy Metal and this is in Midnight Cowboy. And I'm just going to practically fill the wing with the glitter. I'm just going to let it dry. And then I'm going to add some more. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some more. Now, I'm going to go ahead and clean up right under with some concealer. 
And I'm going to take a flat brush just so I can clean right under the nut liner. If I can find one. Now I'm going to take my concealer and I'm going to go ahead and clean right under. cleaning right under there, I'm going to go ahead and just conceal the places that I usually conceal. So under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, my chin. That's a lot to concealer. Now I'm just gonna blend it out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and contour and I'm gonna do a little bit of um, cream contour so I'm gonna use the LA Girl Concealer in Espresso and I'm just gonna put that on the places that I usually contour. I'm just gonna do a little on two lines on my nose. Forehead. Oops. <laughs> now we're gonna blend it out. And I'm gonna get my beauty blender a little more. It smells good now. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my whole face with some translucent powder. Oops. I'm going to strap something. Ooh. Now I'm going to go ahead and contour, powder contour, and bronze as well. So, I'm going to use my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I'm going to use this little small brush for the contour. Now for my nose, this little brush right here. For my bronzer, I'm going to use this big fan brush right here. And I'm just going to use that middle shade on the Kat Von D palette. I'm gonna go ahead and 
cut my cheeks with some translucent. <laughs> Now I'm gonna brighten my under eye area and I'm gonna use this brush right here and I'm gonna use the lightest brightening shade in the palette. I'm gonna put that under my eyes, on my nose and on the forehead and top of my lip. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes, I'm gonna put some blush off camera and I'll be back. Alright guys, so I have applied my lashes. I did my lower lash line as well. I just used all the colors that I used. Um, I also did use a nude um, water pencil. Water pencil. A nude eyeliner pencil um, for my waterline. And then... What else did I do? Oh, I applied some blush and I did Milani Luminoso. And now I'm going to do my lips. So I did line my lips with Rimmel pencil. Now I'm going to apply some liquid lipstick and I'm using the Ofra liquid lipstick in the shade Verona. Alright, now I'm going to apply some of my Mario Badescu facial spray. My face is really dry right now with all this powder. So we're going to let that sit for a bit. Once it's a little bit um, dried off, I'm going to go ahead and apply some highlighter. And for my highlighter, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Emery This highlighter is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Honestly, if you don't have this highlighter in your life, you need this in your life. This is like so blinding. So damn blinding. And I'm going to use this Morphe brush. Um, it's like a little tapered brush. Just because I want to look really glowy. Now with a smaller brush, smaller little brush, I'm going to do my nose, tip of my nose, a little bit on top of my lip, and then I'm going to also do my inner corner. Spray one more time. And this is the final look, guys. Now, for lip, you can also do a super, super nude lip. Um, I wanted to use this color because it's so pretty. It's like brownish. I mean, I thought it would be perfect with this look. Um, so, yeah. I think I didn't forget anything. Did I? Hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, you can comment anything down below that you would like to see from me. Don't forget to tell your friends, your grandma, your mom, even if she's Mexican to come watch my channel. I will try to do Spanish videos in the future. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do that. If I'm not doing it on this channel, I'll probably be doing it on my Facebook page or something um, just because making a video editing a video takes so much time that I want to do Spanish videos but that would be double the work and I do have a full-time job and I have a baby so it's kind of difficult at the moment but bear with me once I get the hang of it I will be releasing some Spanish videos for those of you that have moms that only speak Spanish like me even my mom has been asking me, and I've been telling her I will. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you, guys.
拜。